602. We are now just a few hours away from the eclipse, and we have team coverage this morning right here in the heart of the path of totality. Emily Henning is keeping an eye on the roads. We're going to catch up with Christine, who is live at one of the many eclipse events happening today. But first, let's check in with meteorologist Malachi Rogers, tracking what the weather is going to be like today. He's got your forecast first. All right, and as we take a look at that forecast for the eclipse, it looks like we're in really good shape. We have a few clouds around the area, but visibility looks to be good to fair. That means a few clouds around uh, totality occurs right around 238 this afternoon. And, and again, a few clouds in the area, but still good viewing as we peek through some of those clouds as the eclipse wraps up around 403, temperature around 88 degrees. And again, clouds around, but not mostly cloudy, which is the key. So as we start the morning out, it's a warm start to the day as you're heading out the door, 70s and 60s, mostly clear to start the day off and a lot of sunshine for the first part of the day. Late afternoon, a few clouds, highs in the upper 80s in the upstate. Highs will stay in the low 80s today in the mountains. And we're going to talk a lot more about your Monday eclipse forecast coming up in just a few minutes. Thank you, Malachi. Our eclipse coverage continues with a look at the sky from the same place where NASA researchers will watch it happen. They're going to be watching from the Pisgah Astronomical Research Institute in Roseman. This is a right near Brevard in the path of totality. 7 News' is Christine Scarpelli is live at Perry with more. Hi, Christine. Yeah, guys, good morning. Hey, a lot of action happening, even though it's real early. Getting all the radio telescopes ready to go. We just moved this one here behind us. They are preparing for a really, really packed day. This eclipse has been something you guys have been preparing for forever. We've got Levy Moran here this morning, scientific educator here at Perry. They are doing so many great things here. A lot of really special guests, scientists, mm -hmm. NASA researchers doing some things with weather and and looking into that but also you know people from the public that are here to learn and watch what a neat place to watch this eclipse uh, what are some of the things that you know that are going on here today well i know we've got several different activities for kids that we're going to be doing we've got um stuff to make eclipse viewers we have a bunch of t solar telescopes out so we can actually look at the sun through our telescopes sure. which is going to be awesome um we're going to have the nasa's people presenting various different um, lectures and stuff that are oh, all going to be actually live streaming on our website, which is just perry.edu. So even if you didn't get a ticket for this, mm -hmm. which sold out in February, yeah. that is something you can sort of interact with, you can watch. Yep. Okay. Yep. And we'll be live streaming the eclipse itself as well once that wow. starts happening too. So. A lot of these researchers, what do they kind of hope to get out of this day? Are they are they looking for specific information or patterns or? Well, we ourselves doing the radio observatory. We're the first ever observatory on the radio spectrum to be in the path of a total First solar eclipse. Ever. Awesome. Yeah, so we're going to be laying down the groundwork for radio observing. Several of the other scientists I know that studying the solar corona is really, really important during an eclipse, which is kind of the atmosphere of the sun, if yeah. you can think about it oh, like sure. that. And there are a lot of other things that they're just hoping to be able to see with them. Very good. All right, so this event sold out. But if you do want to come visit Perry, this is a public facility. It's open real quick. A couple of things you have going on. Um, um, we have a science museum here with an extensive meteorite collection, which is very cool. A bunch of different gems and minerals. We have a huge section of NASA things. That's kind of a throwback to the 60s when we were built. We have a scale model of the solar system, hiking trails, an observation deck. Like it's definitely it. worth coming up and seeing. Levy sounds good. Sounds like a lot of parents perking up. This is something <laughs> to come bring your kids to and visit. Guys, hang with us. We're going to move locations. So take in this radio telescope here because we're going to move on to a new place where you can watch the sunrise with us. Back to you. Beautiful. That thing is massive behind it's you, Christine. Incredible. Very cool. Thank you. 606 now. Uh, hey, a reminder if you are headed to downtown Greenville today, the city is allowing a limited number of people to 